Hey everybody, you know what time it is? It's summertime, time to learn how to ride a motorcycle. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be showing you in first person mode how to ride a motorcycle. I'm going to get on the motorcycle and I happen to ride a 600 motorcycle, but this is a motorcycle we're borrowing today. It's a 250 Kawasaki Ninja 250R and um, this is the type of motorcycle that most people learn how to ride on. So let's get on the bike. We're going to go in the twisties. We're going to go on the freeway. We're going to show you shifting, braking, everything that I can just condense into one video. Now this is a video how to ride a motorcycle for beginners. Okay, so if you're a beginner, just remember the right side traditionally, especially on Japanese bikes, is shifting and uh, I'm sorry, braking, left side shifting. So front brake here and then over here is the rear brake now we talk about shifting that's over here on this side you pull the clutch in and you shift now here's the shift lever and i want to show you something about the shift lever just imagine a ladder this is first gear my pinky second gear third gear fourth gear fifth gear and this motorcycle even has six gears so if you're in first gear you tap up right here and now you're in second gear and then you tap up again and you're in third gear and you tap up again you're in fourth gear now before you tap up or down remember you have to pull the clutch lever in then you tap into gear then you will release the clutch lever so you ready let's get started we're gonna get on the motorcycle putting the camera in the fastener let's do this one of the neat things is you can get these gps readings here on your phone and they have these little devices as you can see here that you can get on ebay and it really securely locks your phone into place so if you use the gps a lot or if you're wondering well how am i going to know how to get to point a to point z you can get one of these devices for your phone hold on i'm fixing this camera here and uh, you got a GPS. Now, this is the kill switch here. This is the throttle. This gives us some gasoline. This is the uh, starter. Over here, you have the turn signals, the um, horns right here, and then you have the brights. Middle, you have the um, speedometer. To the left, you have the tachometer. And over here, you have the fuel gauge. So notice, this is the kill switch. You want to get in the habit of flipping this switch right here, this red switch. So if an emergency happens, you flip this and it shuts the uh, power off. No notice it won't start. We're going to flip that there. Houston, we have ignition. This bike has six gears. So the older Ninja 250s, the 250, did not have much ample power to be on the freeway. This bike has changed my opinion. The 250R, I believe, does have enough ample power to be on the freeway. So we're going to show you some things here. If I can get over here. Thank you, sir. Notice I'm in first gear. I have the clutch in. Now I'm going to release the clutch while slowly giving it throttle. I'm in first. Notice I've released the clutch. Watch. Clutch in. I'm kicking up to second. Then I release. So we're going to get on the freeway. And when you're getting on the freeway, remember, speed is life. Now, notice we're coming up to the red arrow. Clutch in. Kick down. Kick down again. Neutral light. See it on? If you slightly kick down from second gear, remember, second gear, slightly kick down, you'll be in neutral. Kick down first. Here we go. We got the green arrow. So let's see if I can show you what this <laughs> little 250 hat. We're in third gear. Not bad for a 250, huh? Clutch in fourth gear, and we're not even redlining it. And we're in fourth gear, freeway riding. Not bad. Clutch in, kick up to fifth. There's the uh, Chevy Bolt. So we're in fifth gear. See if I can get out. Wait, this guy wants to get over here. Let me get in front of him. 
right, so check it out guys. We're in fifth gear, 65 miles per hour. Clutch in, kick up, sixth gear. So notice, it carries its weight on the freeway. And what's awesome is uh, when you're riding, I don't know if you can see the uh, GPS map here. Give you a close up. Now on the freeway, seriously, do not ride next to people. If you're a new rider or any type of rider, do not just stay next to people if you can help it. Don't ride next to them. Now we're gonna be getting off pretty soon, two or three more exits and we're gonna be going on the slight twisties. Now see this guy right here, let's see if we can keep up with him. And that was, the, wasn't that the guy that was getting over? So let's see if this vehicle, this uh, motorcycle, will keep up with the uh, vehicles. Notice, not bad. We're doing pretty good. And this is a 250. We still have some room right there. Notice, it's not redlined. Now, if you're, let's say, uh, overweight rider, I forgot, I'm on a motorcycle. I'm allowed to go into the carpool lane in California. But if you're an overweight motorcycle rider, you're probably not going to be able to ride this bike with as much speed as I'm getting here. If you're a super short motorcycle rider, believe it or not, this bike might not be good for you because it's a little, a little tall when you get it stocked. This is a stock Ninja 250R. Now, another thing too, it's very maneuverable. I mean, look at this. Very flickable, as they call it. Now, I want to be uh, giving you an honest review. Would this bike suffice on hundreds and hundreds of mile ride? Well, I guess you can do it, but I think I would want something even with more power. But if you're going, let's say, 50 miles, no problem. I know there's some guys out there that have Ninja 250s and they've gone hundreds and hundreds of miles. It can be done, no problem. I'm just saying to be more comfortable, you may want to uh, have something with more power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get off here now and we're gonna see if we can take it into the twisties we're going to show you some counter steering and um, also how to ride safely on the streets. What's good about the Ninja 250, it's a very forgiving motorcycle. You can even make mistakes on this motorcycle and it's got your back. It'll make up for any mistakes you make. Now, watch the shifting process. What gear am I in? I'm in six. This is what I'm saying when I'm saying it's a very forgiving motorcycle. Notice I'm still in six. Haven't downshifted going around that corner. It'll let you go really slow even in six. Now clutch in, kick down to fifth. We got the green, let's, go, let's do this. I don't wanna get stuck. We're still in fifth, still in fifth. Look at you could really lean. It just got great, great handling. What gear are we in? Fifth. Now watch. Just to show you something, I'm let's see what light is. Okay, it's red. So watch. Clutch in, kick down to fourth, slowly let the clutch out. Notice. The tax at five grand. Not good to downshift, you know, unless you're around three grand or so. Clutch in, kick down. On this bike, leader bikes are different. You could downshift, you know, six grand, seven grand. You know, it, it, it's not really an issue. But with this high revving bike, it's not good to downshift because it revs high already. It's not good to downshift if you're revving high, is what I mean. Let's see this guy waves to us. He did. Clutch in, kick up. Now watch this. I'm all the way up to six, like, and now I'm gonna show you downshifting. So remember this, guys, it's so simple. Clutch in, kick down to fifth, release. 
clutch in, I kick down to fourth, release. You don't have to release the clutch real fast, right? You can just slowly release it. Now I'm in fourth. Another little trick you can do, watch, clutch in clutch, and kick down lightly. Notice I'm in second. Now I'm going to kick up to second because we're kind of moving. I mean I'm in neutral. I think I said I was in neutral. Clutch in, kick up to third. Clutch in, kick up to fourth. See how you do it? And you mostly listen. You don't have to be looking at everything all the time. Here it's starting to wind out. Clutch in, kick up again. So you get it guys. Once you got the bike going, it's easy. Clutch in, kick up, release. Now we're in sixth gear right now. Now what I'm going to show you next is counter steering. Don't be scared of counter steering. Basically all counter steering is is this. I'm going to pull back towards me on this left handlebar and the bike is going to move to the right, which is weird, I know, but watch. See how we're going to the right. I'm going to pull back towards me on the right, this way, towards me, and it's going to move to the left. Watch. See how it does that? So you basically pull back slightly and you kind of like a skateboard or like a surfboard or like skiing. You're going like this around the corner just by holding pressure. So what are we going to do here? We're going to pull back towards us just slightly. Notice, trying to show you, we're leaning to the left. Very simple. Don't let people confuse you with counter steering. Very, very simple. We got to turn to the right. We're going to slightly pull back to the left. Watch what happened. Let me get to the edge here. Watch the yellow line. Wow. Some bug or something just hit the helmet. I don't know if you heard that. Now, I want you to look at the signs here. Notice we got a sharp corner to our right. See here? What are you going to do? Slightly pull forward towards me on the left here. Even just leaning a little. But you don't turn to the right. Look at this sign. Huh? Every time a motorcycle rider sees that sign, they start to salivate. They're like, all right, buddy. So now, notice, you just kind of lean, we're leaning left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. Make sure there's no cop behind you when you do this, he's going to think you're drunk. But notice, you can cut it, you're cutting it like a knife, like a razor, notice, leaning this way. You lean and pull, lean and pull. Alright, they're picking up speed. GPS here says we have a sharp corner to our left coming up. <laughs> now, see if this guy waves. Yes, buddy. All the bikers are in good moods because it's a beautiful day here in California. It's now um, almost hitting 100 degrees. Now we have the uh, slotted line here, but there's a bunch of cars in front of us, so we're not going to pass and risk our life for no reason. So we're going to be coming up to uh, some very narrow curvy roads and we're going to be going around it. And what I'm going to be showing you, if you're getting a motorcycle and it's your first motorcycle, damn these bugs, did you hear that? Oh yeah, make sure you get a full face helmet. <laughs> now notice the gloves I have. They have the knuckle protectors. Now, um, back to what we were saying, we're coming down to, that lady's picking fruit off the tree or something. We're coming down to a stop sign, we're in sixth gear. Slowly pulling the front brake and hitting the rear brake, downshift, click down to fifth, downshift, click down to fourth, release. Notice we're in fourth, going this slow. I'm gonna kick down, watch for the neutral light, it's on, see it? I don't know if you can see it. So now we're gonna go left here, first gear, Clutch in, kick up to second, release. Clutch in, third. Watch. Clutch in, kick up to fourth, release. Let's, let's get on it. I know what you guys want to see. Clutch in, kick up to fifth, release. 50 mile per hour corner. Now, this is where counter steering really comes into being. See how we're leaning it here? 50 mile per hour corner. This is a dangerous corner if you're new.
because it's so narrow and it, but they let you go 50 clutch in kick up to six release the main thing guys I remember when I was new the main thing <coughs> are three things if you could learn three things these are the most important things in my humble opinion you can ride number one starting a motorcycle you know from first getting it going if you can do that th that's one of the three things number two downshifting and braking like I'm doing now see how I'm braking braking coming to a stop smoothly notice I'm in neutral not in first see the light kick down to first haven't put my foot down yet slowly let the throttle clutch in kick up to third oh and what's the third thing out of those things remember first is getting it going the motorcycle going you know from first second third and moving it into play the second thing is braking you know coming to a stop you know shifting knowing, knowing how to shift and then counter steering is important so probably like four things shifting braking but I guess getting it going that's kind of part of the shifting so we're in six gear here we go let's hit this corner going at a good clip we're gonna pull back towards us on the right watch this watch the lines here we go see that and this bike is so maneuverable it handles excellent it is a sport bike through and through don't let the 250 think like it's some little powerless weakling uh, it's a blast to ride it's a screamer of a bike it likes to be ridden on the high end of the tack GPS says we have railroad tracks coming up let's get on it catch up to these folks just have some distance between us to show you so if you're new the things you want to practice on getting the bike going you know taking off in first clutch in kick down and then braking like this clutch in kick down front brake and rear brake are being applied I'm going to talk to you about that in a moment see those oranges there this is very apropos for what I'm going to tell you remember those oranges all these oranges right here you want to break like you're squeezing an orange let me stop the bike and go get an orange to show you no just kidding so you know how you squeeze an orange you slowly apply pressure that's how you're going to break you're just going to squeeze it right you know like that you're going to break you don't want to be braking going around corners so make sure you don't approach the corner too fast you do not whoa i should practice what i preach but i didn't know that <laughs> you all guy was going to be coming around the corner I, I thought i could lean my head into the thing so you see i need to practice what i preach on that you do not want to be going too fast around the corners look at this sign we got some more little twisties nothing major but I know you guys that are seasoned riders you know all this but you're getting on it now guys woohoo just such a blast so when you're braking you're gonna squeeze the brake same thing with your foot you don't just jam the brake on you wouldn't do that in a car you slowly apply the brakes as you're coming to a stop I'm gonna see if I can show you that now here come those railroad tracks that the GPS was warning me about oh wait I'm supposed to catch up to these folks Okay, so um, remember I'm braking, what are you going to do? Slowly squeeze the brake. The front brake's right here. Now here's the railroad tracks. This is weird. The, you're going around a corner and you hit the railroad tracks while you're going around a corner. Now I'm in sixth gear. Slowly I'm going to downshift to fifth. I am not braking. It is not wise to brake around a corner. You're not dirt bike riding where you're like trail braking, you know, you're on the streets where there's oil, coolant. Clutch in, kick up to six. 
now we have a corner coming up at 35. This guy's braking. We're in sixth gear. We are not going to brake. We're going to keep going. Notice, no brake here. I don't know why he'd brake around that corner. Seriously, my brother, why would you brake? He's, look, if he brakes around here, okay, good. He got a little backbone <coughs> on that one. So we're going to have a, he's braking here. What the heck? We're not braking. Look at the GPS. Look at that corner. Sharp left corner. Can you see that? Let's see if I can keep my head steady. He's braking. We're not going to brake. Watch how I go to the outside. I'm outside corner. And then you just cut on the inside. Of course, you know, in, in defense of the guy in front of me, I can lean and kind of cut into it. He can't. Look at this corner. This is like almost a stop and then a corner. This is a sharp one, 50 mile per hour. Very, very sharp. We're not gonna brake, but I wanna show you how awesome this bike is. We're in six gear, not braking. We're actually gonna accelerate a little to this corner. Watching for that big giant chunk of concrete that was gone. Look at that, wonderful bike. And I'm telling you, it's a blast to ride. It's fun. <laughs> this bike's, you know, just as fun as my 600. Okay, this guy's braking around the corner here. Uh, we're not gonna brake. Okay, so we're gonna do a UE, do a U-turn. Let's do a U-turn here. Is this dirt I'm on? It's like a dirt. I'm off-roading on the Ninja 250R. Okay, so we're going to flip around on the GPS here. It's flipping around. Um, oh, also these speed bumps. Be careful if your motorcycle is low. You can really damage the underside of your motorcycle. So what we're going to do, let's stop right here and show you some stuff, okay? So let's put it in neutral. We're not on a main street or anything. No one's behind us. So let's kind of back up over here just a bit. Just to kind of show you something. Okay. So remember, we're going to pull the clutch lever in. We're going to kick down and we're in first gear. Notice I'm holding the bike with the brake. Okay. So watch. Now we're ready to go. No one's coming. Clutch in. See right down to that lever? Right here where my heel's at, we're going to kick down, but usually I go like that with my foot. And here we go. Slowly let the clutch out. As soon as the bike starts moving, you're going to give it throttle. Not a lot of throttle. You ever see those YouTube videos where the guy just like flips it? Watch. Slowly let the clutch out. Look at the ground. See how the bike's moving forward? Give it some throttle. Release the clutch. Second gear, kick up. You're now in second gear. Clutch in, kick up. Third gear, release. So you guys got it? Watch. Clutch in, you kick up into the gear or down, whatever. Once you're in the gear, you release the clutch very fast. You don't take a lot of time doing that. So let's show you really quick. Here, watch. Clutch in, kick up, release. See how fast that is? You can do it a lot quicker. These guys that are pros, they'll go like, and, and they're in gear that fast. Now we're in sixth gear. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to downshift to fifth, fourth. I just skipped two gears. Slowly let the clutch out. We're going to take this corner outside, inside. This is a 50 mile per hour corner. No one's there, so you kind of like cut over a little bit. All right, no one's in front of us. So now let's practice what we learned. 25 mile per hour corner. We might want to slow down because we're going like 50. We're not braking though, but notice we're just taking a hand off the uh, throttle. Thirty mile per hour around here. Remember what we're going to do? We're going to pull towards us without hitting that. You see what I mean about hazards? Without hitting that 
corpse of some animal and then you go crashing into the thing because you you run over his intestines which are very slippery intestines it's not like the track where they clean the track of oil and coolant and every you know here you got like dead cats dead dogs dead possums and then you don't pay attention to them it's going to be a dead you so you got we don't want you to be a dead you we want to keep you alive so all these signs 30 mile per hour we're back to the railroad tracks look at that water tower whatever the heck this is so now we're uh, not going to go through any of the training you're just going to enjoy the the ride and let's get on it We got a 55 mile per hour speed limit, so I'm not speeding. We're going to go up to 6. And you know, a lot of people will say, and I just have to tell you this, one of my pet peeves, everyone that says, well, motorcycles are dangerous. I always go, well, do you own one? No. Do you know how to ride one? No. I've noticed that people that say, well, motorcycles are dangerous. They don't own a motorcycle. They've never been trained how to ride one. Well, for them, I would say it is dangerous. They're going to kill themselves. They're trying to picture themselves on the motorcycle. We need to tell those people, look, everything's not about you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But there is a difference between just existing in this life and living. And to ride a motorcycle, it seriously, is to live. I love the freedom of it. I love the open environment of it. I love the adrenaline rush of it. I love how you can get to point A from point Z a lot faster, a heck of a lot faster. And it's not boring. You know, they even have Bluetooth helmets where if you have a buddy that you're riding with and he has a Bluetooth helmet, you can talk to each other. You'll see this on YouTube where these guys are on the freeway and they have Bluetooth helmets and they're um, talking to each other while they're riding to the beach or Vegas, motorcycle meetups and whatnot. All right, stop sign coming up. You guys know the drill. Clutch in, shift down, release. While I'm braking, squeezing like an orange. Clutch in, kick down, release. There's the orange guy. I was gonna go over there and say, can I see one of your oranges and like show you a little test, but I think that'd be disrespectful <laughs> to the orange guy. So GPS says we got some long stretches here. We can pick up some speed. Another thing too, guys, check out the MSF course, Mary Sam Frank MSF course. I think it's Motorcycle Safety Foundation. I went to that, I attended that. They teach you a lot. They teach you how to ride. They don't teach you on the streets, but it's really cool. They got these motorcycle simulators and as you're riding this like robotic arm throws like a cigarette into your face and then they got one where this robotic dog runs out in the middle of you and a robotic deer see the guy waves me yeah and um we've got 100 percent waving i'm kidding about the simulators by the way they really don't have that people flipping you off i was going on the freeway and i'm already basically everyone was over the speed limit and the guy's right behind me and he's like inches away from my tire. I guess they don't want to take it off cruise control or whatever. They think because you're on a motorcycle you should be going 120 all the time. Sometimes we do like to go the speed limit guys. <laughs> we do like to enjoy it sometimes. Now uh, don't forget we're going to be ending this video. Don't forget to go below this video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys visit the website below and um, save that to your favorites if you like this video. If you click um, to my channel, I have more motorcycle videos there. Let me tell you about some videos that I have there just to kind of share some with you. I have videos where 
I pull up to a light and I'm just joking and there's a cop there on a motorcycle and I ask him if he wants to race me. And he said, yeah, and I'll give you a ticket afterwards. I'm like, no, sir, I don't want a ticket. <laughs> but he was a cool guy. We didn't race, though. I was on a ZX-10 at that time. I'm sure I would have won the race. But then I would have got a ticket afterwards, so that's no fun. Uh, we have videos where I'm driving every motorcycle's worst nightmare. It's not the rain. It's not the heat. It's not the hail. It's the winds, the strong winds that would throw me right in front of this car on a head-on collision. The strong winds, if you're in a strong wind, what you're supposed to do is don't hold on to the handlebars with the death grip. You allow the wind to blow through you and you lightly hold on to the handlebars. That, that's one of the most challenging things. It does take skill. I've learned that. That does take some skill to be in a strong wind so thanks for watching guys ride like the wind and remember this all these guys driving in the, the cars that's great four wheels will move your body but two wheels move your soul it is awesome get yourself a motorcycle thanks for watching god bless and have a great week motorcycle right there look that's a BMW let's get on it
Downshift, release. Downshift, release. While you're braking. Downshift, 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 neutral. Ah, that was great.